Hello everyone! In this video, let's learn how to create a hologram for our scenes. You can use on cyberpunk or sci-fi scenes. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by deleting our cube. So hit X and delete. Let's create a plane. Let's rotate this plane by 90 degrees on the Y axis and let's bring it up on the Z axis. Now let's create a plane to serve as our ground, like so, and let's switch to our rendered view. Now we're going to need to adjust the shader so this actually becomes a hologram, so let's bring up the shader editor. So let's expand this pane here, and let's click on the editor type, shader editor, and for the material for our plane, let's create a new material. And you can see we already have something assigned, but let's switch to image texture. You just add an image texture node to our uh, material. And let's import an image. Uh, an image will do. Let's choose this one here. And as you can see, it's sideways, so we we'll need to adjust that. Let's rotate this plane on the x-axis by 90 degrees. So R, X, 90. And let's scale this on the y-axis so it looks a little bit better, a little bit more proportionate according to our base image. Okay, yeah, that looks good. So now we can get rid of the principal BSTF, which we're not going to use. So click on it and hit delete so we can get rid of it. And let's begin with an emission shader. So shift A, search emission. Let's connect the emission to the surface and you can see the plane is already glowing let's switch this number here to something a little bit higher like 10 for example and let's connect our image to this node and you can see it kind of looks good but far from looking like a hologram so we're gonna have to make some adjustments here so let's begin by going to our render properties tab and enabling bloom and you can see it looks a little bit better but there's still some work to do okay let's go back to our material properties and now let's add a transparent bstf so shift a transparent bstf we have to connect these two to the material output so let's create an add shader shift a type in add and select add shader and we can connect both nodes to the add shader okay let's switch the order of the connections here so just move the one at the bottom to the top and now let's give this plane some transparency so under material settings change the blend mode to alpha blend and you can see we now have an image with a transparent plane so this is a pretty good base for our hologram okay but of course we still have a lot of adjustments to do so let's change the color of it let's go shift a color ramp and connect the color ramp between the image texture and the emission select the white handle and now click on the color and select any color you want and you can see we just colorized our hologram and if you increase the number of the emission to let's say something like 50 you have a lot of bloom so it looks pretty cool when you are close to the hologram and from far away okay so that's pretty much it for the hologram itself. It already looks pretty cool, but let's make it look even better. So now let's add another shader called the wave texture. So shift A, type in wave, and let's add a color ramp here. So shift A, color ramp, and let's connect the two of them. But first, we need to find a way to connect this RGB image to the actual shader. So how do we do that? So let's move this a little bit out of the way and let's create a mix shader. So shift A, type in mix and select mix shader. Okay, and now we can connect this. So let's begin by connecting our add shader to the mix shader. Okay, like so. Now let's connect the mix shader to the material output. So let's bring this here and, and nothing changes actually in our hologram because pretty much there's nothing connected to the mix shader. So now's the time to connect the wave texture and the color ramp to the mix shader. So connect the two of them and connect this to the factor of the mix shader, okay? So by doing that, 
your wave texture will affect the transparency of your hologram. Uh, that's not exactly what we want, but let's change first this from X to Y because we want like the horizontal stripes. So now let's change the scale of our wave texture. So under scale, I'm gonna type in something like 95, which is a pretty high number, but we want this to be like a noise in the texture. And you can see the horizontal stripes here. They work pretty well, but they are also affected in transparency of our plane. And we don't want that. So let's connect the transparency PSDF to the second connector on our mix shader, and you'll see this will be fixed. Now let's add a little bit of a subtle distortion to our lines. So a value of two works pretty well. And there's something else we can do to have some more noise on our stripe. So let's add a Musgrave texture. So shift A, typing Musgrave texture, duplicate the color ramp and connect the two of them. And now we need to connect these two. So we're gonna add a mix RGB node. So shift A, search, type in mix and select mix RGB and connect both of them to the first and to the second color respectively. And now we're going to connect this two to the factor on the mix shader. And you'll see that at first sight, it doesn't change too much, but let's change the scale just to something really high, like 230, for example. And let's change this to add. And now you can see there's some sort of like interference and noise to our hologram. So let's just decrease the factor a little bit so it tends a little bit more to our wave texture. And that's precisely what we want, okay? So that's pretty much it. I mean, you can use this on any sort of image with a transparent background. And you can even apply this to one of your 3D figure models to have one of those giant figure holograms the size of a building, okay? So I hope this was useful, I hope you enjoyed, and please, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in our next video. Bye bye.